Hi guys, it's Jessica. How are you? Trying to just see my live come up. Not there yet. Sometimes it takes a second or two. There it is. Let's see if anybody's gonna be able to come in tonight. Hey Denise. Hi Louise. Oh. Hi Carol. Hi. Yay. Okay. Hi Lisa. Shouldn't you? <laughs> Carol, I am waiting for my laundry to finish. <laughs> Hi Nicole. Hi Tom. Once laundry is done, then I am packed and I leave in about six hours for the airport. So. I have a super crazy early flight and then like a three and a half hour layover, so it's crazy. Um, hi, Gina. Hi, Heather. I'm here. Hello, Debbie. Hello, Alexis. Just going to give it a, about another minute or two to see how many more people we get. If you guys would not mind, as soon as you come in, bottom left-hand side of your mobile device is a share button. I would love it if you'd hit it. Hi, Cassandra. I have been binge watching you. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> oh, hi, Krista. Oh, yes. I But I will tell you, I was worried that I wasn't going to be able to sleep a little bit before leaving. I am so tired. I could barely hold my eyes open. Hello, Ka. Hello, Sylvia. So I am not concerned about that at all because as soon as I'm done this, I'm uploading it. Hi. Hi, ladies. Hi, Sylvia. Hi, Krista. Um, as soon as I'm done uploading this, I'm taking a shower and going to bed for a little bit. Hello, hello. And then I will be ready for when my brother-in-law comes to pick me up to take me to the airport. Because hubby needs to sleep so he can go to work. And my awesome brother-in-law, Colleen's husband, he will be getting done work so he's going to pick me up. Hi, Terry. <laughs> Hi, LOL Not Biz. I figured. Hello. Okay, so... I think we got enough people in. I am going to do tonight. Um, so the marbling technique, I haven't really done this in a little while. Um, I think the last time I did it was for a uh, Valentine heart I made, which for the life of me, I have no idea where it is. And I went to look for it actually when I was decorating for Valentine's Day. Um, but yeah. No clue where it's at, but I marbled it. Now, there's the, a lot of people have been talking about this. Hi, Leslie. Hi, April. Hot mess technique. And it, the hot mess technique, uh, the way I'm understanding it, it's marbling. Um, because we don't have the ability to kind of paint certain areas. Um, so, hi, Valerie. It, it, we can't really do the hot mess technique ours would be the marbling technique so um yeah so that's yay louise i'm so excited make sure it's 201 because that it i think it goes off of mountain time oh no, no no you could do 1201 yes 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 you're good was the irish good luck one debbie Schneider was the irish good luck one is it the irish yes the one that i did the other night Debbie, it was who needs luck when you've got this much charm. This is available tomorrow, guys. How awesome is that? You guys can get your hands on the February Club Couture, which looks like this. Don't mind all my, these are my decorations that I've got so far for St. Patty's Day. So this one is, hi Liz. This is the one for February, which comes out tomorrow. This is the one that will come in all the new consultant kits. Hi, Jen. So this one says, who needs luck when you've got this much charm? Yes. So this was not marbled, if that was the question that was asked. I wasn't sure what the question was. No, you use glitter. Oh, yes, I didn't use it on this one. I use glitter on the loads of luck from the vintage truck add-on. I glittered this one, this one, and this one for the shamrocks. Yes, I use glitter there. Hi, Debbie. I mean, uh, hi, Patty, rather. So, anyway, 
I am going to, I was going to use this canvas to show how to do the reverse canvas, but I realized I want a bigger one to do my next reverse canvas. So this one, I just thought, you know what, I'm going to use this. Now I will do, I will show how to do a reverse canvas on Sunday when I get home. Um, it's going to take too long tonight and I am, I'm being completely honest with you. I'm so tired. Oh, you're so cute. Hi, Patty. Hi, Barb. Hi, Jen. So as you guys are coming in, bottom left hand side of your mobile device is a share button. I would love it if you'd hit it. So anyway, um, I decided tonight, my husband made this, um, the We Are Living Our Adventure, and he, we did it on a black canvas, and he did it all in lime green, and it looks awesome, but I thought, you know what, I'd kind of like another one, and I kind of want it in like, kind of like seashore -y colors, if you will, because I, I think this would be fun to have at our campground, um, because that's kind of another part of our adventure when we bought our trailer last year at the beach campground. Um... So I thought this would be fun to hang up there. So that's why I went with this. Oh, the marble. Yes, it was sort of marbled. I forgot all about that. I did marble this. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you how to marble with a bunch more colors tonight. Same technique, just more colors. But yes, you're absolutely right. Debbie, thank you. I'm losing my brain. I'm losing my mind. I'm so tired. It's catching up to me finally. Hi, Jen. Hi, Barb. Hi, Luann. Hi, hi. And Liz, yay, can't wait for you to join either. So let's go ahead and get started. Yeah, I'm excited that I get to use this one now because Bran got to do it. And I thought, well, darn it, I wanted to do it. So now I'm going to make it. I'm so excited. All right, so first thing you need to know when you are working on a canvas, you need to have something to pad the bottom of the canvas, okay? Let, let's start this first because, as you can see, it's all open. So when you push... You're not getting any resistance back. I mean, this canvas is a pretty tight canvas, but we still need a little something extra inside here. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my towel in here, and I'm going to put another towel. Now, don't mind these towels. They have been, they are all chalk couture loved up. Let me tell you that much, okay? All right, so there we go. And now, when I push, I will have some resistance back, okay? So now, Bryn, like I said, I already used this once, and he already put the word back on this. Now, why did we put the word back? Hi, Ed. Hi, Ian. Um, we put the word back on this because our chocolate transfers are silk screen adhesive back reusable transfers. Hi, Barb. Meaning... When you are all done using your transfer and you wash it off and you use your um, disinfectant wipes on the front, then flip it over and disinfect wipe the back and let it sit and dry with the back up, after you're all done, you're going to replace it back onto the carrier sheet. Now, the carrier sheet, the side that has back is a paper side. The side that the transfer is on is glossy and smooth. That's the side you want to put it back on because if you were to put it on this side where we wrote back, it's paper. This is sticky. We're going to pull the paper off with it and ruin the carrier sheet and possibly ruin the transfer. So we don't want to do that. That's why we say back. Okay. Hi, Jen. Glad you landed safely. Okay, so as you saw, I peeled the carrier sheet from the transfer. Now, why did I do that? This is a bigger transfer, and as I said to you guys, it is a reusable adhesive bat. Now, if I would have pulled the transfer from the carrier sheet, two things could happen. A, I could have stretched the transfer, which would have distorted in here, made the chalk paste leak through, and kind of ruined my project. So we don't want to do that and ruin the transfer. B, I could have caused it to roll up and fold on itself. Now, when that happens, our first in instinct is to, oh my gosh, let me rip it apart. Uh-uh. If that ever happens to you where the transfer folds onto itself in the silkscreen area, throw it in water right away. Let it sit in the water, let it remove some of the stick, and gently peel it off. It's not the end of the world, so don't worry. Um, but that's why I take my carrier sheet from the transfer, especially when it's a big one. So got that all done, pulled it up. I want to go ahead and I'm going to put it kind of in the center. Like I want to try and leave the same amount of space at the bottom as I do the top. I also want to kind of make sure it's got, it's kind of even all the way around as well. Like 
even down here, which it looks like. Whoop, there we go. That looks better. Now, once I have that down where I want it to go, I'm going to push it down and I want to make sure I don't have any bubbles in my silk screen area. Okay? So we don't want any bubbles. No bubbles, no bubbles. No trouble, okay? Once we have that down and it's all on, this is where we're going to start um, putting our chalk paste on. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Doreen. Hi, uh, hi Donna. Hi, Scrap Addicted Scrapbooking. Um, and yes, Louise and uh, Liz, you guys are both on Easter time. That's awesome. So now we're going to start putting some color down. Now I'm going to use some Caribbean, some Coastal Blue, some Canary. I can find aquamarine. I'd like to maybe sub aquamarine in there. Um, maybe even some bubble gum. I might even do a little bit of bubble gum because, or maybe azure. Hold on. Ooh. Maybe a little azure. Those colors kind of say beachy to me. Oh, and I need a sand. I need sand. That'll definitely seal the deal then. Mustard. Oh, yeah, look at that. Tell me this doesn't scream seashore colors. Isn't that great? I love it. Hi, Elizabeth. Hey, Catherine. I can't wait to meet you, girlfriend. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Sharon. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and we are going to marble. And like I said, I'm pretty sure marbling is going to be our version of the hot mess technique, okay? Aw, thanks, Catherine. I can't wait either. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. It's going to be so much fun. I leave in like five hours, I think. Um, I still have things to do. <laughs> I had to get my live in. So, okay, marbling. Marbling, what I'm going to tell you is it's super fun because you get a really cool look. You need to be careful with how much chalk paste you put down because whatever chalk paste we use, um, we or we don't use rather, it's waste. You can't do anything with it. Sure, you could put it into a container and make it its own color. I don't really wanna do that, okay? Um, so, let's see. I use, and I'm sure you guys have seen me with stirring my chalk paste. I use these to pull my paste out and drop down. Well, let me just show you because that's going to be the easiest. All right, let me get these open. These are our chalk paste. Okay, we have 35 colors. They're two ounce containers. Um, a little goes a long way. Okay, uh, I'm in so much trouble. I'm in love with this. I told my family I need money for next year's holiday so I can go shopping. Oh, I'm so glad, Debbie. It's so much fun, huh? Hi, Erica. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so. My coastal blue is a little rock hard because I'm at the bottom of the barrel on this guy. So I'm going to just spray a little chalk, uh, not a little chalk paste, spray a little water in there. Okay. And it's not as hard as I thought it was going to be. Okay. Now, when your paste gets like how mine looks right here, you want to put a little bit of water in. Now, you want to start off with a little bit. If you have to add more, you add more, but you always start with a little and go back in and add in, okay? Now, my canary is going to be gorgeous because I just got this canary, and I can tell you already. What did I do with these? There they are. I can already tell you. Oh, okay. This is great. This is a new container. Now, I'm putting it close, and I'm going to keep my mouth close. So that way you can hear this. A new container, it looks like it's going to be solid. Like, you're going to open up and say, oh, my goodness, this is my chalk paste. Don't fret. You want to stir this up until you stop hearing. I'm going to call it the Rice crispy sound. So listen, ready? You hear that? You want to get all the way down and all the way around, go all along the edges and get rid of all of that sound. Now, it just has to be mixed together. That's all it is. And see how gorgeous this looks now? Look at that. 
Now you want to do that, like I said, go all the way around, get that rice crispy sound out of here. And then you're going to be left with what looks like a nice yogurt like consistency. Okay, so my canary is set. Now my Caribbean, oh baby, Caribbean, my favorite, bottom of the barrel of this guy. Hi, hi LuLaRoe, Kareen, how are you? Hi Brandy, hi Kana, how are you girl? Coon, Coon, I'm, and I did it again. I'm saying your name wrong again, please don't hate me, I promise you I will, I will get this right. In one of my lives, I know I will. Hi Rach, okay, so. Poor Caribbean. Oh gosh, I love you. I'm so sad that I'm at the bottom of this. I need a new one. It's okay. And let me tell you, do you know how many projects I got done with Caribbean? I used it for all of December for Christmas and I used it for Valentine's Day projects. I put Caribbean on everything. If you watch me, you know I did. So let's just keep on going here. I'm just going to simply add some water wherever I need it. I may not need it on any of them. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and Stir first now. My azure could use a little, little help here. Am I at the bottom of the barrel of my water? Let's see. Oh, there we go. Now we're golden. We want to make sure all our chalk paste is that nice consistency for when we get ready to do this. Now my sand. Oh, sand I know needs help because I used it with my sugar cookie. I need to buy more sand. Go figure. I keep buying enough for my events, but I never remember myself. Shh, I'm not a very good shopper, clearly. Oh, I think I, I, may, I must have saved this the last time because it looks pretty good now for being the bottom of the barrel. And guys, I've never repurchased any of, like, a lot of these colors. Well, Ca Caribbean, I did because I did an event and the Caribbean went. Coastal Blue is still my original. Sand's still my original. I've been here since July, and you guys know I do uh, lives, like, five to six nights a week. Um, hi, Andrea. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Amber. Thanks for joining, guys. As you're coming in, I would love it if you would share my video. Bottom left-hand side of your mobile device is a share button. I would love it if you click it. Okay, so who's ready to see this? Are you guys ready? Um, now, I usually don't have any rhyme, particular rhyme or reason as to how I do this. I just come in, drop color, go. So I'm going to go with the fact that since my canary is the newest and the most beautiful consistency, I'm going to have a little bit longer of a time with this. And not to mention, um, my house is a little um, dry because, well, our heat is cooking because it's freezing here. So... I'm going to do canary first. Now, all I do is I put it on my little my little stirry stick here, right? And I'm going to come in and just randomly drop color. I don't care if I'm messy. It doesn't matter to me. Okay? I just want to randomly drop color. And remember I said, kind of be a little aware, if you will, with your colors. Because, like I said, with this technique, it's a really fun technique. But whatever you don't use is pretty much waste. Okay, I'm going to come in with my Azure because that's the next best consistency. And the reason why I'm saying these as consistent, oh, I can already tell you I'm going to love this. Consistency wise is because you don't, you got to watch your time with how fast you move, right? Because we don't want our chalk paste to dry on us because these are silk screen transfers, right? So what would happen if it just dries on the silk screen? It'll clog it, right? So we want to make sure we're moving relatively quickly. So I'm going to try and pick up my, oops, and try and pick up my pace here. Move a little bit quicker. And I can only go as fast as I can because my brain hurts. I'm tired. <laughs> tired from thinking. Ooh. A little bit there, a little bit there, a little bit there, a little bit there, a little bit there. Okay, we're almost done. And then wait till you see how fun it is, come on, to do this technique. Wait till you see how easy it is. And have you noticed something here? As I'm laying the color down, I'm not touching any other colors because I can't, I, I don't want to contaminate my other colors, right? Yikes, that was way too much coastal. Come on. Um, 
Maybe I just won't go super crazy with this on the outside. Okay, we're done with coastal. Now let's do a little bit of our sand. <gasps> well, that went in a good pot, spot, I suppose, there. Now this is, like I said, going to be screaming shore colors to me. Okay, good enough. Now, I'm going to get my angled squeegee, and I'm going to get right to work, okay? And all I'm going to do is, whoopsie, I may not have pushed this down good enough. Start spreading my color. Now, you'll see some of, the, some of my colors may not look like they're spreading really well, and that's because, well, it could just be that they started to dry out on me because I wasn't, ah! No! Don't do what I think just happened. No, no, no. Ugh. Well, we may have an even, we might have a real hot mess here now. Because, guess what happened? It lifted on me. Womp, womp, womp. It's okay. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. We'll make it work, right? I always do, don't I? I have to go back and add in some areas but it'll be okay it lifted and now I was too not generous that's not even a word I was too careful because I don't think I have enough so you know what we're gonna do where's my canary we're gonna drop some more canary in here and we're gonna hope that this helps move the color around. Ugh. This might be a gigantic mess. I lifted on me in multiple places. I did not do a good job of sticking this down. I think I was too busy yapping. <laughs> to be completely honest, We'll see what happened though. We shall see. Alrighty. Let's see how horrible it looks. Oh, it doesn't look bad at all. It looks, oh, yep, right there it's smeared, right there and right there. But you know what? You can totally pull that off as that was supposed to be meant to be. Oh, I love it. Oh, it does look really cool. Now, you know what I would probably do in this instance? Um, here's some things I'm, I learned about these colors. While I love it, okay, absolutely love it, I needed more of the Azure. That's number one. Oops, I almost dropped on my luck. Um, I needed more azure. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Sage. I sprayed a tiny bit of water to smooth out. Worked well. Yeah, absolutely. Water would have too. Hi, Rayanne. Hey, Jen. Hey, Tim. Hey, Tamara. It turned out great. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Debbie. Um, can you hold it up? It's hard to see. Absolutely will, Kyle. So here's what I'm thinking I would do. So you see where, whoops, you see the spots where I told you I felt it lift up on me here, 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 here? Here's an idea. What I may do, I might get um, some acrylic. Oh. I have an idea. I might get some acrylic paint. I have like a light blue acrylic paint. I wonder if I water it down and put it in my Mr. Mister and spray the board like color splotches all around tell me that wouldn't look cool because then it'll look like it was a painting instead of a transfer i i like it i really like it um the most important part of we are living our adventure that came out that i'm happy with um over here we're kind of sort of messed up let's see if i can touch it up real quick but if not i think what i'm going to attempt is trying the the paint I think I might attempt the paint in the mister. 
Um, my, my spray mister, I know, what is it called? Ugh, I'm drawing a blank. You know, this thing that, that I spray my water out of, I think it's called a mister. Makes it look like, it does, right, Catherine? It looks like it was painted. It really, of all times to have a goof up, I'm glad it was on this because it definitely made it look good. Um, yeah, okay, hold on. I'm going to see. I don't know if I should attempt to clean it up or not. I actually really dig how it looks. Yes, Sylvia, that's awesome. My sister-in-law did the Home Sweet Home on the reverse canvas last weekend, right, Kyle? Um, and it turned out great. It turned out real good. Okay, hold on. I'm going to attempt something. I want to see something. I'm just a little curious. Woo! I'm a little curious about something here. Hold on one quick minute. Okay, hold on. Let's try. I want to see something. Where is my Q-tips? All at the bottom here. I'm going to see something. Just got to see. Bless you. Welcome. Okay. So I sprayed this a little bit. Now, the canvas. Hi, Vicki. I do too, Debbie. I really do. I, I am going to try one thing, though. I'm going to see. Let me just try down here. Okay. This is why I knew I liked canvas. Canvas is very forgiving. Because, look. I don't know if you guys are able to see what I'm doing down here. So I'm going to try and move up a little bit. Do you see how I just cleaned that right up? Just came right up. So in the spots that I don't want it to look like a watercolor, I'm going to just clean it up real quick. Look at that. Ugh, another reason to love chalk a chore. When you mess up, look how easy it is to clean it up. Mm -mm -mm. No, that is awesome. I'm so excited about that. Legit just made my night. <sighs> Look at that. How cool. It's like an eraser. Like, I'm able to, like, erase what my mistake. Which is so awesome. <gasps> Hi, Lourdes. Oh, thanks, Vicky. I was saying because the transfer lifted on me as I was pulling the color down. I must not have pushed too good to have it on. Um, so in some of the spots, the color kind of leaked a little, but I thought this, these colors were perfect for down the shore because it's almost that time again, guys. I can't wait to make sure stuff again. Oh, I'm so excited. Not that I'm not excited making Valentine's and everything else, but my sure, oh, my sure, I miss it. I miss doing my lives down there. Oh, I miss it all. Right, Kyle, don't you miss that? How awesome is this? Hi, Gina. So you didn't have to, I didn't prep this canvas at all, Louise. I didn't do anything but stick the canvas down and put my chalk paste on. You saw what I did. You, everything I did with you guys live is exactly what I did for, for this. I'm a hoot. <laughs> Thanks, Debbie. Um, isn't it cool, Cassandra? It's awesome, right? Oh my gosh, I love this. Oh. All right, let's hit it with some heat because it's still a little wet, right? Let's do that. done all right hold on one second I might have to see if I can get in the middle here oh yeah yay 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 I love it I love 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 it okay so we're done that was easy so there's our hot mess or marble technique 
Super, super quick, super easy. I can't wait to put this up at the beach. Can't wait. Oh, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be so fun. I, I feel like it needs like a pop of pink somewhere. I kind of almost want to just drop pink. Just blabs. Oh, Cassandra, I'm so excited to have you. I can't wait. You're going to love this. It's so much fun. Hi, Jen. So if you were to wipe it all off, does it completely come clean or smearish? So it's going to come clean. Um, you might have to just work out a little bit. Like I am, there's a few spots where you can see where there's like um, the pigment, but you can just spray it clean and like you can really rub at it. I really can't rub at it with a Q-tip. Um, like I can't push it all. Um, but you could take this off. Yeah, it, it'll come off. Um and if it's still showing like tints of color, you can magic eraser it. Oh, Vicki, you better believe I will. Anytime they say I'm allowed to go live, I'm going live. Um, something special happening on no, nothing special is happening on February 6th, Nicole. I think that's just the day that Cassandra's able to join. Um, the week of February the 5th, new transfers get dropped, which is gonna be awesome. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, and I leave for leadership in a few hours. I'll be going to Salt Lake City, Utah. So I can't wait to see my chocolate tour friends that are going to be there and meet some new faces. Um, it'll be a lot of fun. I can't wait. I'm so excited. All right. Well, guess what, guys? That's it. So obviously I will not be live for the next few days. I'll be back on Sunday and I'll be live Sunday. Hi, Fred. Um, you're very welcome, April. Um, that is, yeah, that's literally it. I don't think so. Okay, so if you are interested in joining my VIP group, it is for customers, not designers. Um, just comment me down below and I will message you the link to join. If you are interested in joining my team, I would love to have you. You are so welcome here. Um, we're a lot of fun. We're a very helpful crew. We all want to make sure everybody succeeds and everybody has the answers they need. Um, type join and I will add you to my opportunity group where I have a Facebook live discussing the entire chocolate tour opportunity. So, um, throw them down below if you're interested thank you Catherine. you too be safe and i cannot wait to see you uh leadership i think is going to be once a year nicole thank you ryan um i believe it'll be once a year and then convention will be once a year convention is in june um so as long as you were an active designer you were able to sign up for convention uh it'll be i think june 21st 22nd 23rd if i'm not mistaken i don't have the dates in front of me, but I'm pretty sure those are the dates. Um, and I think that's it. So I'm going to let you guys go so I can go finish packing and get ready. And like I said, you won't have a Facebook Live project, but there will be other lives that I will show. I will hopefully be able to go live from the Couturier night tomorrow night. Um... And then hopefully I'll be able to go live a little bit while we're creating. I don't know. I'm not going to break any rules, but whatever I'm allowed to do. So you're going to want to definitely make sure you follow me, um, my VIP group. Um, or if you're on my team, you're going to be seeing a ton of stuff too. So I will talk to you guys later. I hope you have a wonderful night and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.